right, what's up everybody, Sky here, and we're going to be doing an unboxing, I, I don't know why I always say it weird like that, I'm just fucking retarded, but um, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Mary Skelter Finale, limited edition, Famitsu DX Pack 3D Crystal Set, <laughs> that just fucking cracks me up, because I'm like, the Japanese fucking releases of games always just have a whole bunch of just stupid bullshit adding on to the end of it to make it sound cool and in the end it is cool dude it's just like they don't do that in in american releases they're just like hey here's the fucking bayonetta they didn't even have a limited edition here here's the fucking near replicant fucking white that actually sounds cool too the near replicant white box edition it's just it's just when in english it's just limited edition but fucking in japanese they always have these weird stupid ass names bro it's fucking awesome <laughs> but um i got these uh these came with it these are like some like fucking plastic like I think these are some kind of art, clear art. There's some some name that they called them, but I didn't really look into it. But they have like this this uh, effect on them, and the effect doesn't really come over that great on camera. The these actually look really good in per in person. It's like the black is really good. Um, these are the two new characters right here, and I believe this is Otsu. Otsu, I think she's super cool. And, um, Alice, um, I always confuse her and say she's Sleeping Beauty, but I think this is Snow White, Rapunzel, and this is Sleeping Beauty. I wish they had one for Mermaid Princess, and I don't know what they call her in English, but she'll always be Mermaid Princess to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got those, and then I took the game out of the box because I had to play it because fuck off, bro, I need to play this game, and, um... It, it's it's fucking great it's really good um i don't know if i'm i, I didn't i'm like I, i've looked it up to see um if the ps5 does this but i'm like every ps5 game that i've played on the uh, uh, every ps4 game that i've played on the ps5 has been upscaled to 4k i don't know if it's running in for, if it's like the the output is 4K, but it's actually running 1080. I don't know. I've been looking for this, but I haven't really found anything. But my TV tells me it's running 2160p, so I don't know. But this game, it, it looks great, and it's fucking, it, it's so fast, bro. I'm like, that's what I liked about Death and Request 2, where Death and Request was kind of slow. This game is fucking fast as shit. And, um... I don't know if because I haven't beaten the game that you can't do it or maybe I haven't found the certain menu. But as far as I can tell, I thought that Mary Skelter 1 and 2 came with this game also. But from what I look through through menus, it just gives you the story cutscenes of Mary Skelter 2 and 1. I don't know if you can actually play those games because I looked through and you couldn't do it. So I don't know if you have to unlock it or something, but Mary Skelter 2 did it to where you could just hit R1 and it would just pop you into Mary Skelter 1. But when I went into this game, you have to like go to a story thing and then it just shows like cutscenes and then sub scenario shit. It doesn't actually let you play the game because I was going to say this game is an amazing value if it lets you play all three games. But from my experience, maybe I'm retarded dealing with Japanese, I can't find it. I, I can't find the other two games in there. So I will have to look more into that. Maybe somebody else will know. You know how fucking dumb I am when it comes to these games. So, But um, I don't know. I'm only like two or three hours into the game. So I don't know if you unlock it after you beat. I'm assuming you probably unlock it because they have the other shit in, um, in here. It was like a special... DLC thing that was with Mary Skelter 2 that you could only get if you pre-ordered the game they have that in there so I don't know maybe you have to unlock it that's the only thing I can think and this is a um uh this is the benefits poster type thing 
Oh shit, sorry about that. But this uh this benefits poster, I hate that it's bent because it's pretty good art, but there's a DLC code on the back of this and they ran a campaign on Twitter to where if they get so many of this and that that they will add more shit to the game. I was confused by this at first because I expected multiple download codes, but there's just one download code and I guess it has everything in it. Um, cause I, I was like, where the fuck is these codes at? And then I put this code in and it was like, this is the campaign benefits, you know, product voucher or whatever the fuck. So, um, this, this thing has the, the code on the back of it and it unlocked all of that shit. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked at it yet. So, uh, that's cool. Um, we missing anything else? Nope. So we got this poster here. I pre-ordered this from Ebb 10, so we have the Ebb 10 poster. Um, I believe this is um, Snow White and Alice. I'll try to get out there, but you know how it is with these. The, I, I love these wall scrolls, low bro. They're always pretty cool. And it appears that they're in nurse outfits, so that's nice. Um, there's always some just some weird shit going on, man always i don't really care for that i just want to fucking fight shit dude <laughs> that's all i care about bro okay I'm, f I'm fucking everything up here sorry 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 okay so we got the limited edition box here so here we go go around here it's just it's just standard fare open this up inside of here this thing actually came outside the box i don't know who this character is. I'm assuming they're villains. As far as I could tell from what I've played in the game, I think they're villains of the game. And this is one of them because they I don't know, maybe you can get them as party members later, but I think they're villains. But um, they all seem really fucking cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh of the weird ass church chick from uh was that Mary Skelter too? I don't know, bro. I, I, it's been so long since I played it. And I'm like, one thing that the PS5 does that's really cool is when you go into a certain menu, it tells you how many hours that you have on every game. And apparently, Mary Skelter 2, I have 93 hours. Didn't even know that because I'm like, my save file says like 80 so I'm like, I'm assuming that's for me, like fighting a boss and just dying for like 10 hours straight. <laughs> just like 10 hours of me just fighting a boss and dying. That's so awesome. And um, fucking, I think the most game, that, the game that I have the most time into on PS4 is Omega Quintet. Uh, unbelievably, I think it said like 250 hours, bro. And I'm just like, the thing is, when I played that game, nobody knew anything. So we were just like, everybody was just like fucking flying around trying to figure out what the fuck to do to get these endings and shit, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, I think I played through that game like four times before I finally got the endings, dude. It was crazy. But um, yeah, this is like some kind of like bikini weird bullshit that came with it. It's literally just a card. It doesn't have anything on the back. Um... This is like, I don't even know what to call this. Um, I didn't really look on the page, but it's like a, it appears to be like a art book slash novel slash concept art book. It's really weird. Like you can see here, um, I think it has like Mary Skelter and Mary Skelter 2 shit. You know what I'm saying? So it has like all the characters and stuff like that. So we'll go through here. This motherfucker, I wish you would die. <laughs> it's like they always turn into some monstrosity. This chick, I think she's Charlotte. I may be wrong, but I think her name is Charlotte. Oh, okay. So looking right. Oh, fucking shit, bro. So looking right here, this character that was in that acrylic thing, she appears to become a party member because the other two aren't there so because there's like three other chicks that have this like blue flame type shit to them that aren't in this picture so i think she might become a party member which is cool that reminds me remind, yeah like right here you could see that's her right there and then there's three other fucking chicks they're um i think 
it's not really a spoiler, but I think when you first start the game, you fight this chick and she fucking massacres your ass straight up. This chick right here just fucking owns your ass. But um, yeah, we got this here. I think this art book is really long. This whole book is really long. Um, let me look. 197 pictures um, uh, pages so I'm not gonna go through this I'll just flip through it real quick to keep this video fairly short because I'm like I could probably spend 10 minutes going through this thing so we'll just give a look it has a lot of art in it I believe there's like a couple of novels inside of here just letting you know what's going on this art though here I really I really like this picture this picture is fucking sick Otsu and fucking mermaid prince is just fucking chilling dude <laughs> mermaid prince she's like one of the coolest characters but she's so goddamn weak dude she always she's like the first party member to get wiped out because her defense could be high but her health is so low dude and let me look at it here i forgot which game it was but they had like uh like a uh, user submitted art i think that was neptunia i think that was a uh, super neptunia where like user submitted art had actually made it into the art book speaking of art book they actually um have a new 10th anniversary art book coming out um that they just announced the other day um i pre-ordered that shit so that shit's expensive as fuck too it's like 90 dollars but the other one was like 40 so it's not really that bad okay so we went through the poster all that shit the only thing i got left i believe is this 3d crystal set which is fucking radical and we're gonna get in here it looks you can see here it has alice and i don't know maybe charlotte that's supposedly her name and then it has that motherfucker in the back whoever that guy is i really like these and um i don't know it's it's cool but mine's always has something fucked up with it but this one this one seems pretty cool it's like a what the hell was that a big ass scratch no it was just like a fucking piece of lint or something <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty cool. I love getting these type of things. And um, I'm not going to put it into the... the it, it, it's like they all come with some base that just lights up. Um, I'm not going to do that because it takes too long. But uh, yeah, that's all the shit that we got Fucking the for the limited edition. Um, pretty cool. Um, it's kind of spare, sparingly. I, I can't find the word I'm looking for right now. Um, it, it, it's, it doesn't have as much shit as usual, but it, it's, it still has some cool shit, but, um, yeah, uh, we got some more shit coming. I got a few things for what the hell did you get, bro? Um, not too much, but I've been having to buy shit online cause you can't find anything in stores. So I've been trying to find shit here and there online. It's a reasonable price. Um, stuff that I, I've kind of just been filling out the collection at this point. So I have quite a few things coming. Um, and actually Amy, Amy hit me up. I think that was today. Um, a lot of my packages that have been on hold over there that has shipped using that surface mail, which is just like the slowest shit possible. Um, the first one actually hit the U S um, I think it's the um velvet crow figure which was the first figure that got held and that motherfucker shipped off in september i think it was like the middle of september and it just hit the u.s so that surface mail is really it's like two months slow so it's like if you choose that might as well expect it to be here i'm like for the price it's still really expensive too i'm like it's probably more than ems and it's just like and it's like DHL for a big big ass package is like double that, but it'll be here in like three days. But um, I'm like I order a lot of big ass packages, so it's like I'll just pay that and 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 wait. I just can't afford to pay fucking. The figure is like a hundred and ninety dollars, and to ship it they want two hundred and forty dollars. It's just like at that point, like what the fuck, bro? Like I might as well not even get the figure. They just had some big stupid ass figure come out the other day too. I think it was a. It wasn't the other day. It was like last month. It was um something from I think it was Azure Lane actually. Or it might have been Valkyria. No, it might have been Fire. It was like the Cry Crimeria. 
I, I can't remember where that character's from, but that shit's like $400, bro. And I wanted it super bad, but I'm like, bro, I'm not about to spend like a good chunk of rent on a goddamn figure, bro. <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm just like, hats off to you people that can do it, but I can't, bro. I'm like, I got a, a limit on that shit. Like, fuck nah, bro. Like, $390? That's ridiculous. <laughs> And I'm like, fucking Nier Automata just released a figure that's like $3,000, bro. It's a figure with like a, it's like a figure with 2B, 9S, and I think it's the, the little, the little robot guy. That shit's like $3,300. And they have a Resident Evil figure that's like $3,300, or it's like $1,200 that's like fucking like Claire or something. It's fucking stupid, bro. They're trying to, like, milk everybody right now. But anyway, I'm going to quit fucking talking because I'll just keep rambling. But, yeah, that was me unboxing the Mary Skelter Finale Limited Edition. Hold up. Nope. I forgot something. I just remembered. <laughs> I forgot this. It's the fucking OST. I forgot this. Hats off to everybody that stayed here this long. <laughs> I forgot this, though. I kept. I fucking knew it was something I was forgetting. But, um... This is the OST. It has all three OSTs. Um, this is the OST for the first game. This is the OST for the second game. And I'm like looking at this. The one thing that I do see is that these like uh, these these songs here that have like spreading version, industrial version, floating version. These weren't on the OST that came with Mary Skelter 2. These were only on the sound test in the game and in the actual game. They weren't on the OST. So hats off to them for actually putting the shit on there because they weren't there the first time on the actual OST. And I'm like, I have to go into the game and actually pull these um, from a recording, which was fucking terrible. And um, this is the finale OST fucking hype to put this up i'll try to get this up as soon as possible but it'll probably take at least a day or two maybe three because i don't really have time right now but um i think bow bowing hero is like the 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 fucking the 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 battle theme and it's fucking sick i just i really love these mary skelter games because they just come in with this fucking violin just going fucking ape shit like din -a -din -a -din. <laughs> like the dude it's like they have all these fucking percussion and shit and then the dude with the violin just come in like din -a -din -a -din. i'm like oh shit this motherfucker is going off with this violin <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's all the shit um, that came with this. I don't think I forgot anything else. Um, I'm kind of, I'm just super hyped, bro. So I, I've kind of been rambling a little bit. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.